Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, I Chuck Apple ninety six here today, and today I'm just gonna give you guys a little run through of iOS four point three point one for the iPad. So I have my iPad two Wi Fi here set up with iOS uh, four point three point one, and um, I just want to give you a quick run through of the uh, new features and some of the old features. We're just today is just gonna be a quick overview or run through of iOS for the iPad. So I'll just start off with the YouTube application. You start off where you have your My Videos down tab down at the bottom, where you can view most of your videos. Um, and all this is all of my videos that I have on my channel. And you simply tap on one. It starts playing uh, right away. And you can uh, size that down while you play it. And there it starts playing. Uh, back to my videos. Yes, yeah, so that's uh, how you view your my videos. It's similar layout uh, for your subscribers. So you see over here on the uh, left, you have uh, all of your subscribers in a row that you can just basically view. So I'll show uh, Soldier Dose Best video here. One of the latest Soldier Dose Best videos. So now I got this uh, Soldier Dose Best video loaded up here. Hey, up, and uh, you find on the iPad that the videos tend to play great. They look great. Uh, you do get the black bars on the top and bottom, but it just has to do with the aspect ratio of the iPad's, vid of the iPad's uh, screen. Something like the Motorola X Zoom. Uh, would have a different aspect ratio, 16 by 9, to play these videos full screen. But I don't really mind having the black bars on the top and bottom. And as you know, the sound is great on the, uh, overall, the speaker good. on the iPad, especially on YouTube. Uh, then you have your favorites, a list of your favorites just in the way of how it was uh, before. Uh, your most viewed videos. Pretty much the same idea, top rated and featured are all basically the same. Let's uh, close this. I'll head over to the app store and show you the app stores. Uh, so we'll start off here by seeing the top charts. So I can scroll down through these and if I see like uh, an app I like, for instance maybe this CUC app, I'll just click on it. Let's open it up, uh, scroll through, look at some of the features it has, and let's download it, and uh, I'll type in my password here. So I got my password typed in there, hit OK, and there it's going to start downloading that app right away. You can already see it's loading uh, fairly, fairly quickly. So back to the App Store, uh, top charts. So this basically just shows you there's your top grossing apps. So how many the, the apps that are downloaded the most, like uh, Log Me and Ignition, Keynote, GarageBand, and you can go to their uh, top 50 if you like. I think it shows even more. Your updates are I have no updates right now. Your Genius uh, featured. Anyway, close that. Uh, uh, Game Center. I don't know if how many of you use Game Center. I use Game Center not very often. I only have a couple of friends in Game Center, but it's basically the same. Uh, photo Booth. Take a look at uh, Photo Booth for the iPad. You can see that. And uh, the Camera App. That's back facing camera, obviously. And now uh, we'll close that. But anyway, guys, that's basically uh, it for the uh, Safari, obviously. Uh, I was looking at uh, Green Poison there. But Safari is also very fast. We're going to go to a web page.
like this. And I'm just running on wireless here. It tends to load up pretty fast. As you can see, the iPad, great uh, quality. It's quick, it's not lagging, it's always right there for you. Uh, I'll show you the multi-touch gestures. I don't know if you know much about these. You can download Xcode if you're a developer free or for four ninety nine in the App Store. You can download the Mac App Store. You can download Xcode and it allows you to f uh, take these gestures. So I'll show them to you. Take five fingers, go on your screen and pinch like that. It goes to the home screen. And once you have so many applications open like this, um, you can take four fingers and scroll through them like so scroll through all those apps and you can take four fingers and go up and scroll and that will open the multitasking tab but anyway guys that's basically 4.3.1 uh, for the iPad 2 I don't know if there's anything else I left out that might be new there's uh new software coming out every day so this video may be dated by the time you get to watch it but anyway guys uh stay tuned for my review and some other videos when i get uh, more apps for the ipad too but anyway guys thanks for watching and see you in the next video peace